Hi, my name is Susan Combs, and today we're going to talk about mandatory requirements of flood insurance. When it comes to flood insurance, if you're in a flood zone, you know all about this stuff. Um, if you're not in a flood zone, you might not know. So uh, when it comes to being mandatory for you to have flood insurance, typically if you have a mortgage that is federally backed, they require you to have flood insurance. Depending upon the, the zone, so you know, when it comes to you know, all the different you know, geographical locations and things like that, everybody has a flood zone number affiliated with them, even if you're like completely inland. So if you're inland completely, you're a, you're a low risk. So if you wanted to you know, flood policy, if you're inland and low risk, you're gonna pay a lot less than somebody that's gonna be on the coast. If you're somebody that's on the coast, you might be able to get a private carrier to pick you up on the flood insurance, or you might not. Um, the idea behind it is that if you're in one of these high risk zones, the federal government wants you to have flood insurance in place so that hopefully that you'll be able to, to get money to rebuild if something were to happen. I will tell you from kind of a cost standpoint, if you're in kind of one of these high risk zones, you're looking at about $5,000 per year for a policy that's, that's gonna cover $250,000. So depending upon what the value of your home is, if you have you know, beautiful $2 million home right on the coast, $250,000 isn't gonna to cover too much in terms of the cost if you have a catastrophic loss. So the best thing to do is to actually go to the FEMA website, take a look at what zone you're in, and then if you're in a, a zone that you can actually get some private insurance, that's gonna be the best way to go because when it comes to putting in a claim, it's gonna be much easier to deal with as, you know, is the premiums gonna be a lot less harsh on your pocketbook too.